Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to install Nitrogen OS based on Android 8.1 for the Xiaomi Mi A1. Yes, this is one of those videos, 10 days, 10 videos, 10 ROMs, install and preview. The reason I'm doing it in a sequence without including any other device in between is because that will give you a clear perspective of what is offered by which ROM so that you can decide the right custom ROM for your phone. Now, before we begin, here's a card to the latest giveaway which gives you a chance to win the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, if motorbikes are your thing and motor vlog is something you like here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's flash nitrogen OS for the Xiaomi Mi A1 hey guys Welcome to the channel once again and today we are going to install a different ROM based on Android 8.1 for the Tissot that is uh, Xiaomi Mi A1 based on Android 1 but this one is a custom ROM and we will have a quick look at the ROM and how to install it and what are the features available in this particular ROM. But before we begin there are a few things that you need to take care of as always. You need to have an unlocked bootloader. TWRP recovery, make sure you have 50% battery and all your data is backed up so that you don't lose any of your important and valuable information. After that, boot into TWRP, download the files, the ROM, and if you wish to have Google Play Store, the Google Apps, and copy them to your phone's internal memory. Now, assuming that you've taken care of all those things, let's begin with the installation. So first things first, wipe and swipe to factory reset. Once that is done, go to install. Locate the nitrogenous ROM file. Sorry, there. So, this is the one. This is 10th April, is the latest build that I found. And the ROM flash, as always, will take between two to five minutes. Now, I know that you know, last few days, a lot of install and preview videos have been coming, and they will keep coming, guys, because you love it. And there is a lot of you know, different and unique stuff planned after the 10th of May on this channel which you'll really really love. Meanwhile let's wait for the ROM flash to complete and then we shall move on from there. Alright so looks like the ROM has been flashed. We won't be flashing Google Apps because I'm not looking forward to use Play Store because I'm not gonna stay on this ROM for a while. So let's just wipe cache in Dalvik and let's move on to reboot system. So the first boot will take less than two minutes because that is what the standard time has been on the xiaomi mi a1 um excited to see the boot animation how it looks let's go ahead and have a look at it okay that looks good i like different creative boot animations and that is one reason i love custom roms or not um it's pretty, pretty simple and basic but uh, that's where it all makes sense Nitrogen OS, very clean. Bluetooth has stopped. Not the best way to start a ROM, but nonetheless, let's see if we can ignore it. Okay, yeah. So the Bluetooth is on, but it says it has stopped. Nonetheless, uh, square icons, pixel type launcher, and we don't have anything at all here. Uh, we have the camera app, so let's fire it up. It looks like Google camera to me. Yup, it is. Uh, so the back camera works. The front camera works too and uh, yeah let's see what are the customization options available let's also check voice of reality is there so the icon is there let's go ahead and give it a shot let's call 198 and see if it works looks like it is working just fine yep so voice of reality is working the camera is working two very very basic and critical features are working so far so good with this rom apart from bluetooth has stopped working let's check if bluetooth gives us an error again let's turn it on okay not really so there was a one-off thing maybe now let's go to system mia1 nitrogen os that is what i like about this rom they pay attention to detail 
and let's go to settings again and let's go to personalization now this is what you have been seeing for the past few days and this is what you're going to see because that is what custom roms are everything about guys isn't that correct absolutely so let's see what status bar customization we have here status bar items okay that is uh, clock and date yeah you can put it to the left um yeah so that is that and you have brightness control selector notification display into okay yeah so warning color enable orange status bar navigation when the battery saver is activated nice adb notification network traffic let's go back Quick settings, you can customize your quick settings. Buttons, so you can customize your buttons and you can also have uh, navigation buttons enabled. Apart from that, uh, you have gestures. Let's see if we have any custom gestures. You have ASP gestures. Double tap on the status bar to put the device to sleep. Lock screen, double tap on the third or bottom shortcut of the new lock screen to put the device to sleep. Pocket detection, so basic. Uh, gestures over there nothing out of the ordinary all right so apart from that uh, if you go to the power menu you can add these many things to the power menu that is the power of custom rom guys that is the reason custom roms are awesome uh yeah you can customize the lock screen as well this is something i really really like i don't like the fingerprint vibration at all you should have an option to disable it i said it when i had the oneplus 5t i said it when i had the redmi note 5 pro and i still say it while i'm using the mi a1 just for a day face unlocking is there as well so that is a neat feature i have not tried it on any of the roms uh, maybe in the full review i can try you can customize your miscellaneous things like wake lock blocker alarm blocker app ops is there and notifications heads up is there as well so yeah, uh, pretty, pretty decent ROM, the initial impressions. This is again based on Android 8.1 and uh, apart from the Bluetooth force close, I didn't really have any problems. The camera is working. I don't really know if the portrait mode is working or not. We will cover that if we do a full review for this ROM. But apart from that, from the first impressions, looks pretty, pretty solid. I really don't think there should be any reason which would stop you from using this as your daily drivers and don't forget guys that these developers do it for free they do it out of passion so the amount of hours that goes into porting a rom to your device is you know a lot so yeah go ahead and give it a try the link is mentioned in the description and let me know in the comment section how did you find it it's good it's bad what are the bugs that i did not cover is there anything else that you would want me to cover in the install and preview series for now this is kailash signing off until the next one guys keep smiling take care see you soon goodbye